Now let's get to this trifle. So this, I, I've never actually been a huge fan of trifle, but why? Because the, it never had brownie, bourbon, and pecan in it. <laughs> now I'm oh, a now convert. Bourbon lady is going to be happy. This is the right. These are the right ingredients. Exactly. So we're not going to do every step today. Okay. Because you could also. I mean, skip some steps. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, I give great recipes for brownies. Yeah. But you could start with, you know, a brownie that you like, that you bought. You can yeah, make one sure. and freeze it ahead of time. And so you make this into small cubes. Okay. We need whipped cream and there's a, a caramel sauce also. Mm -hmm. So you can either make my bourbon caramel or buy a jar of caramel. Yeah. And the, the chocolate custard. That will right. do. So off the heat, that's very important. Yep. Off the heat, half a cup of sugar. Okay. With three tablespoons of cornstarch. How am I not going to eat all this by the end of the segment? I don't know. How I, I'm this gonna, is why I'm going know. as fast as I can. I don't <laughs> trust you. Okay. So, and you will stir all of this. This is very important. If you do this, do this on the heat source. This is an omelet. This is not yeah, what you true. want. <laughs> and you want to stir it until there's no more lumps. Right. This will prevent your custard from having any lumps. Lumpy so custard. So nice and smooth. And this is what we want. Okay. When Off of the heat. Off the heat. When this is smooth, mm -hmm. just add your milk. So. What'd you use milk. there? Standard plain milk. Two percent. Two percent. All milk as yep. you want. It okay. won't change anything. All what right. you have in your fridge. Stir again, and then you put it on the heat source. Okay. And you stir until it's thickening. Yeah. Up to now, it's a vanilla custard. We could right. add just some vanilla, but we will add. But we want to do lots it right. of chocolate. Yes. But we won't put it now. Okay. As soon as this is going to be like thickening, mm -hmm. it's done. We add the chocolate last minute. We Got don't it. want to cook the chocolate. We just right. want to add it to it okay. and give it a nice texture. So we'll see if we have time to see it thickening, and and then maybe I can start building. Yeah, that's a great idea. So and I'm going to start with the whipped cream. Yeah, if you've noticed, there's a plastic film on the chocolate custard that is yeah. cold. There's a reason. When you transfer your hot custard, yeah. you want to put, as soon as you do, a plastic film on top. Leave it there until you're ready to use. Otherwise, it's going to form kind of a skin on top there. Yeah. You don't want that. No. So now I would still eat it, but you don't want it. <laughs> I just whip that baby up. Everything is and... to love from you. you know that. <laughs> Still so it. now it's, I mean, you have to be creative. It's, right. it's layers. I mean, in the magazine, I gave you which layers to do, but yeah. that's enough, I'd say, because oh. you want to make four or five. Okay. And we'll lick this later. So you can spread it around with your spoon. All right. Because it's nice when you see what's going on on the sides, okay? Well, that's why I thought so maybe I should make it sides. a little thicker, exactly. no? Okay, I'll leave it like this. Then you put some cubes of brownies. Well, I thought I was going to be in charge here, but you're telling. Oh. You are in charge. Okay. It's like at home, you know. You, you know, you tell to your husband what to do, and he believes he's in charge. <laughs> you run the place. You think that's enough? That's perfect. Okay. Then dollop of the chocolate custard. Mm. Okay. So, so this needs to be spread spoon, too, yeah. right? But just let it drop here and there. Okay. From time to time, you want one to drop on the glass side. Actually, you need a bowl of about eight cups. All right. If you don't have an eight cup bowl, you could do this in smaller bowl, in individual portions. Oh, for portion. sure, and that's the thing about a trifle too, if you want to make the little yes. single. You uh, have a large party, yeah. you can take a bunch, uh, a punch bowl if you want. Right. And make it twice. Or you can make it tinier, yeah. right? You took the chopped pecans yep. on top, then your bourbon mm. caramel. So good. And I shouldn't talk to you because this is. You going have to a burn. job to do. You're micromanaging me. Is what's happening? Oh, it's over complicated. There. I'm a guy. Is it One complicated? thing at a time. Be concentrated, Ricardo. That's what my <laughs> wife says all the time. You're fantastic with one thing at a time. So the building caramel oh. like this. Oh yeah. I probably yeah. use way too much. Who cares? Uh, we love that. Right? If you're like Tracy, just double everything. Yeah, double everything. Double everything. Double the chocolates. And this is really the principle of that dessert. Yeah, you so, build and build and build until yeah. you get that exactly. that you know perfect perfect dish. And at the top, you put the pecans as well Soft as the pecans. caramel. And look at this when you dig in. Oh my God! Make sure you have all the layers like this. Oh boy! Oh! I hope we took a Do photo of that. Do we love our mm, lives? Life is good. Cityline.ca for this recipe. Mm. I have to try it. There's try more coming it. up. Stay with us. <laughs>